here are this week's top stories. Abu Dhabi holds the first ever spinning marathon. Discover which food will help you sleep better. The next fitness star top five finalists share their favorite workouts. And Andrea Brazier shows exercises to tone your ab muscles. I'm Rachel Pather. Welcome to What's Up. spinning marathon in the Middle East took place at the cycling room in Abu Dhabi. Supported by the Abu Dhabi Triathlon Club, Proud to Be and the Cleveland Clinic, the event was a huge hit, gathering an attendance of more than a hundred participants. international master instructors from Ireland, Belgium, India and Qatar headlined the six-hour spinning event. The Physique TV team dropped by to check it out. Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi is very interested in promoting wellness here in Abu Dhabi and this event is a symbol of our, um, our commitment to that to wellness here in Abu Dhabi. We're really excited to have both our caregivers here um, participating. I'm in the middle of doing six straight hours, so yeah, I'm participating myself. So far, it's great. The music's fantastic, very high energy. People are having a great time. We're really happy to open it up to the community as well. Spinning is an international, it's a global organization which has plenty of internationally accredited um, certifications, um, ranging from training science to communication, but it's all science-based. We come from road cycling, and so it's, it's kind of a long path to become a, a very good trainer in spinning, but it's very good because you can start easy. Spinning uh, basically resembles outdoor cycling, so anything that you can do on, a, on an outdoor cycle can be performed on the spinner bike. I have been to Miami, Netherlands and I have conducted two events in India, but this event over here is extraordinary because the ambience, the energy of the people over here is, is definitely outstanding. Than Spinning is just incredible because it's for anybody, any age. You're in control of your bike, so you you govern how hard or how easy that you want to work, but you're in a group environment, you know? So when you're in a group environment, it gives you that motivation and it gives you that drive and you feel a sense of community. The energy in the room is amazing. We have, uh, such, we have almost 100 people participating, either riding in a team, um, or people riding solo too and actually doing the six hours completely. It's the week of the World Cup Finals. Which team are you rooting for to win this year? Well, that's a big debate, so instead we asked fans a different question. We wanted to know who their football hero is. Hi, I'm here in Real Madrid Cafe in Dubai. I'm going to ask some fans who their favorite players are. Hi, who's your favorite player? Definitely Cristiano Ronaldo. Why? Well, just the way he plays on the field, I mean, he's extremely, extremely quick. I think he's a great role model for the kids, and he probably plays for the best club in the world. Wow, that's cool. 
I, who is your favorite player? Well, I was going to pick Ronaldo, but I don't want to be too mainstream, so I'll go with the second most popular, I guess that's uh, Rooney from Manchester United. Rooney, he's an all-round top player. Just do everything he does, and plus he's um, number one striker for England, so nothing better than that, I guess. Maybe Messi. It's the best player the, the last year. Yeah, I think it's the the best player in the world. Um, Raúl González Blanco. Why? Um, because he's the first. I think he's the guy who inspired me to begin love Real Madrid and especially football. Um, Ronaldo. Because um, Real Madrid, I don't know, I like Real Madrid so much, so... Uh, Hazard. Why Hazard? Because he's the best player in the world right now. Uh, Messi. Why Messi? Because he's the best in the world. He's been like that forever. Man. Hi, what's up, man? Who's your favorite player? Uh, my favorite player is uh, Ronaldo. Why Ronaldo, man? It's Real Madrid, huh? Real Madrid, then uh, he's famous also. Uh, Messi. Why Messi? <laughs> the most famous. Who is your favorite player? Tim Kale from the Socceroos. Because he's kicked the best goal of the World Cup so far. The best? The best. What about you? Who's your favorite player? Let us know on Facebook. having trouble sleeping, Gabriella is going to tell you about what you can eat to help you get a better night's sleep. Watch this. Do you have problems sleeping? Well, new findings suggest incorporating these three food items in your diet might help. Researchers from Louisiana State University have found that drinking tart cherry juice twice a day can help you sleep up to 90 minutes longer each night. According to the authors of the study, cherry juice is a natural source of the sleep-wake cycle hormone melatonin and amino acid tryptophan. They also claim that cherry juice is a safer way to improve sleep quality than going down the pharmaceutical route, given the lack of side effects. If cherry juice is not available, you can also try kiwi instead. A recent Chinese study discovered that eating two kiwi fruits an hour before bed was shown to increase sleep time by 13% and decrease mid-sleep waking periods by 29% after just four weeks. And lastly, there's seaweed. This ocean vegetable is very high in omega-3 DHA and according to an Oxford University study, it can give you at least one more hour of extra sleep each night. And remember to consult with a nutritionist before making any sudden changes in your diet. I'm Gabriella, and that's what's up. Don't change the channel, because after the break, Andrea Brazier will show exercises to help you get V-shaped abs. Welcome back to What's Up. Last week, you met the top five finalists for Women's Health Middle East, the next fitness star. Today, we'll get to know them a little better as they share their favorite workouts. My favorite workout well, if I'm in a rush and I want to do something real quick, my two choices would be hip lifts, and it works your legs and glutes, and Bulgarian split squat with a jump, just to add a little plyometric in it. I try to always work out no matter what. I have no excuse if I'm busy, if I'm working, I'll always make time, at least even if I'm training for 30 to 45 minutes hard, it will make a huge difference, and it's enough if I'm doing it right. I try to train six times a week. I always need to have a day rest for, to recover, sometimes even two. Overtraining is not smart. Since I want to compete in the Dubai Fitness Championship, I have to live up to that, so I have to train hard and it keeps me in shape. 
My favorite workout would be a high intensity interval training because it's smart, efficient, it combines uh, cardio and strength exercise, it boosts your metabolism, it allows you to get fitter in less time. So high intensity interval training would be my favorite routine. Doing a routine where you can work with your body weight because it uh, give you, gives you structure and you can do so many things. I love uh, uh, weights, lifting weights as well. And go back to the basics, basic uh, movements and then you can modify them like uh, uh, a lunge, you can do a side lunge, you can add a jump, you can add many things, you can add the dumbbells or uh, the with a push-up you can do a plank, uh, work many muscles, engage many muscles at the same time. The way I like to train, I like to, if there, if I, depends on what I have access to, so if I have access to a gym, I'll do some weightlifting, and if I don't have access to a gym, I'd like, I like to do body weight training that involves elements from gymnastics, parkour, uh, body flow, ground flow, animal flow type stuff on the ground, just using my own body weight as resistance. I turn to strength training because I know that's, that gives me more bang for the buck for the time spent in the gym. I can go on a treadmill and run for an hour and burn calories there and then, but if I build my uh, body strong by doing strength training, I feel that that's more, um, that gives me more results that last for a longer time. So that could be either strength training for your lower body or upper body. I have certain strength movements that are more favorable than others and that will have to be, I guess, the squat and the pull-up and the Bulgarian split squat. And don't forget to vote for your favourite fitness star by going to thenextfitnessstar.ae. You have until August 1st to get your vote in. Two-time WBFF world champion Andrea Brazier will address a very popular request that we always get from her fans. She will show us exercises to get V-shaped abs. Hi, I got many questions about how to work the external and internal obliques to get that nice V-shape in your abs. So I'm going to show you now some options that I really enjoy doing it myself to get my abs nice and toned. So let's start on the floor. Lying down on your side in a 90 degree angle, okay? You're lying down on your butt, make sure not in the hip bone. So I'm lying down on my butt, put your arm nice, side of your body, fit together. Then you're gonna stand, use your elbow, bring your toes towards your chest. Try touch your toes if you can. If you are a beginner, you can just uh, go for this option instead, one leg. Easy. Advance it, you bring both legs. Hand on the side of your body. Bring, use your elbow. Come up and touch your toe. Extend your leg, open your body, and touch. If you feel pain in your neck during the exercise, just keep your head down, relax your neck, and put all the tension in your abs. Avoid any tension in your neck. So I'm gonna put my hip very low on the bow, where you feel comfortable. So you're nice and comfortable. Set up your feet in a way that you can feel the tension in your abs, no in neck. Then I will come and bring my elbow towards my belly button. 
I see many people in the gym going sideways here. I don't like this way because I don't want to book this side of my abs. I want to get the line here. So I make sure I bring my elbow in. If you're in the gym, if they have a cable, you can use the cable. If you're at home, you can use an elastic band. So walk side till you have tension in the elastic. Hold your arms straight in front of, a bit below your chest, and then go to the other side. You see, you have this option. I keep my hips square, and then I go to the side. My arms are straight, so I'm all the power coming from my abs, okay? It doesn't matter how you put your foot since you feel activating your abdominal muscles, okay? Because everybody's different and everybody moving in a slightly different way can feel more or less. So this is how it works for me. I'm gonna use the bag. I think it's a very nice exercise. So this is a great exercise to finish my workout. It will make me sweat. I can go very high reps, still I get fatigue. Also safe, I'm not punching the bag, so I'm just going with this part of my arm so it's safe, I don't get the risk to injure my wrist or injure my shoulder. Every day, it will give you very nice abs. See you, bye. If you have any questions for Andrea, just send them to us on our Facebook page. Here are the highlights this week on Physique TV. Push girls know that life can twist and turn in unexpected ways, but they also know that true strength means embracing change and moving on. When Tiffany sees Mia's decrepit, crammed apartment, she tells her it's time for an upgrade. Like moving is such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Like honestly, it's just time for a grown-up apartment. An apartment can look great on paper, but then you get in there and you realize, oh, these are townhomes. Did you know that? When I looked out the window and realized I was that high up, that could be a safety hazard. Chelsea shares the painful story of her accident with Seventeen magazine. It's not easy though. Every time she gives her speech to high schools, she has to relive the painful events all over again. Will this chance give her the courage to continue this important work? I go to high schools all over with my dad to talk to the students about the dangers of drinking and driving. I never thought I would be sitting on wheels at the age of 17. I feel like my dad after the accident, he's developed this pedestal for me to be on. It's almost like I'm really convinced. I think this has been your, it's hard to say. Yeah. Kind of your path in life. I feel like I can't do all the things that he wants to do right now because, you know, I still am a teenager. I feel like he expects more than I can actually do. Ali is a New York City caterer who is addicted to the delectable party food she serves every day. While Mike is a line cook at the Chicago Bistro who can't get enough of the mouth-watering burgers and fries he cooks every night. Both chefs weigh over 300 pounds and can't control themselves around their own food. With the help of Christine Avanti, working with Ali and Brett Hobel working with Mike, they will attempt to relearn everything they know about food and exercise in order to transform their bodies and save their lives. An inactive lifestyle and the demands of busy lives have left many people feeling flat, achy and lacking in energy. The Happy Body series explores how to get the most out of your body in everyday life. 
Every morning, tune in to get practical tips to help you address the physical challenges of staying strong and mobile. What's happening to me? I'm getting this lava belly, my arms are changing, my thighs are wobbling, and they also describe feeling really tired. And the whole confluence of things can be actually quite depressing. The thing is, once you understand the metabolic process that's going on behind this, there's actually lots you can do to change it. I've designed this series specifically for us. There's a combination of posture, pelvic floor work, and the third thing is specific exercises targeted at changing the body of a 40 or 50 year old woman. Want to be inspired on what to eat for iftar? Gabriella visits the Ramadan tent at the Sheraton Jumeirah Beach Resort for some cooking lessons from Chef George Najim. I'm Rosina Cassily. Have an exciting week on Physique TV. Again, here are this week's headlines. Abu Dhabi holds the first ever spinning marathon. Discover which food will help you sleep better. The next fitness star top five finalists share their favorite workouts. And Andrea Brazier shows exercises to tone your ab muscles. For more updates, visit our website. You can also follow us on our social media pages. I'm Rachel Pether. See you next time.